Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Today we have the battle of the century. Every single creature in the game lined up, ready to fight. I'm just going to run down so you can see that they're all here. Check off your favourites when you see them. Big and small, from the Compi all the way to the Giganotosaurus, the Titanosaur. All the add-ons from Scorched Earth as well, everyone's here. Uh, now, as you can see, I've got players only on, which if you don't know, disables the movement of any of the dinosaurs. Any of the wild creatures. And here they all are. It's, it's taking my breath away. There's so many of them. In case you were wondering, that's a Yeti. <laughs> this is a Gigantopithecus. Obviously, there's a slight difference. It's going to get a little bit framey when the fight starts, so just bear with me. Also, you may have noticed that there are two wyverns. I want to explain that to you as well. We've got one that is a fire wyvern, and this one apparently is just a wyvern. I don't know what the difference is. We'll find out. Now, if I had to put my money on any one of these dinosaurs winning this fight, it would be the Titanosaurus. Although, I have deliberately positioned it opposite the Giganotosaurus because it was introduced to the game as a Giganotosaurus killer. However, if you just take a dip with me beneath the water, you'll see there are many more creatures down here too and obviously a lot of these creatures will pack a big punch and have as nearly as much HP as the Titanosaurus. I've spawned them all in at level 120 as you can see if I just walk up near them, oh no that, I just have the option to scrape meat, I don't want to do that. There you go, 120, they're all level 120, you can take my word for it. Every creature, big and small, funny looking, cool looking, scary looking, they're all here. They'll probably all die before we even see what's going on. Now obviously the bosses might take this fight, I really have no idea what's going to happen. I already feel like I've talked too long, built up some anticipation guys. So let's see what happens. I am invisible, but I'm super excited, it's taken me a long time to set this up. I'm almost, I'm a little bit hesitant to press go, but let's just do it, let's just do it. Are we ready? I don't think I've forgotten anything. Ready? Three, two, one, boom! Oh boy! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Wow! The gig are doing big work straight away. Annihilating faces. The Titanosaur making his way on shore. Possibly to show that guy who's, who he thinks is boss. All these strange area of effect going on. The Wyvern's doing work. The Golems. Oh my gosh! This is so much more epic than I had anticipated. I'm just going to slow things down a little right here so we can see maybe some of these dark guys die. Wow. So the Quetzal's just flying away. Morelotops has flown off. You can see the walls that I've built have spawned in to stop these guys all running away. But this is truly epic. Oh boy. So what we've got going on here, we've got a Spino taking on a Rex and a Griffin. A Therizino battling a Utyrannus. Looks like he's scaring him after death. A little Dodo still alive! Making a run for it. The griffin might see him off. Let's find out. These guys don't appear to be fighting each other yet, but look at that beast. Huge. Huge. I don't think anyone's going to take down him. Oh, wow. It's a real cluster over there. Let's go take a look at this. The Morelotops piecing out. Oh, ho hotly chased by it. The Utyrannus there, making big noises. Big, big noises. The Quetzal off to safety, out of the fight. Disqualified for all intents and purposes. And over there, just a big old wyvern mess, I think, going on. They're, they're roasting someone, I'm sure. They're roasting someone, I couldn't tell you who. Looks like they're fighting one of the golems. I think they'll be there for a while. I'm not sure that they'll beat that guy either. Those golems can be tough work. Let's, uh, let's give these water dudes a bit of a look in, shall we? The, the surface is obviously looking very active. I've not even had a chance to go look over at the dragons yet. But I'll hop over to that in just a fine second. For now, let's hop in the water. And just go see what we can see over here. Things looking kind of stale in the water. Like nobody quite wants to fight with each other. So maybe we'll see some of the land dinosaurs hop over this way. And begin that fight momentarily. I'm wondering. The Allosaurus fighting off more than he can chew with the Giganotosaurus. Not a fight that will last very long I'm sure. Although the Giganotosaurus just doesn't know who to start killing first. Over here we have what looks like... A, a, a Gigantopithecus army has been summoned, probably by the Mesopithecus. I was not expecting this, and all the Mesopithecus. So, 
Obviously the Gigantopithecus. Everyone's summoning in allies. Oh, okay, this is the, the real fight over here, the boss fight. This is this is where it's happening. You can see throwing other creatures high into the air. The Brontosaur is still standing, standing toe to toe with these bosses, getting pretty well beaten up. This is very cool, very, very cool. The Manticore, as you would expect, useless AI flying in a circle, screaming to himself as ever. The dragon refusing to engage anyone, standing above it all. Despite the taunting of this Alpha Wyvern, he will not be moved. I wonder if we can give him a little bit of motivation with the flamethrower. Let's find out. Wake up, buddy. Go. Come on, lad. Get in the fight. Dracaris. Nope, he's not having it. He's not having it. Alright, let's speed things up a little bit here so we can move along a little faster. Now we're just at half speed. A Rex chasing an Argentifus. Bless him, we know who's going to win that fight, but God bless the Argy for giving it a good go. This little fella, I forget what he's called, a Hesperonis, just chilling out. He doesn't care what's going on. These guys can battle it out. He's not bothered for that. The dragon still passive in his, I don't know what, what word, in, in his majesty, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, this little dude, what's he called? I've not seen one of those guys before. A Diplocolus, just chilling out, just hanging out on the beach, being his ugly self. He, he's got nothing to prove to anyone, he's, he's accepted his fate. He's, he's going to go chill out in the water over there. Maybe this raptor will come see him to him in a second. But things seem to be heating up over here. Is this, who is this? Is this the Megapithecus? Who are you, dude? We, we don't know what he is. I think he's the Megapithecus. What's his name? Just call him the giant monkey for now. The giant monkey. Posturing. Posturing. Summoning more of his friends from heaven's no heaven knows where. The Alpha Wyvern flying away. The dragon chilling out. Looks like the Titans are refusing to fight each other. Dealing with the Plebeians. Just chilling out in themselves now. So let's head back over this way and see if we can't find a little bit more action. The Giga, as ever, violently chasing everyone down, pursuing everyone he can see. A lot of these guys still standing, but not for long now that this guy is hot on their tails. He will finish them off. There you go, the Griffins down in one bite from the Giga with a little bit of help from the Therizinosaurus and the Allosaurus, the Spinosaurus, getting up behind them. Obviously, all these little guys are just going to get rinsed by the Giga, although it does seem as though these larger predators have something of a pact going on with one another. We ha do have a rock golem here who's just decided to chill out. We give him a punch. Let's see if he gets out of that form. Maybe a little bit of a, of a spark with this thing. If we can't encourage him to get up. Well, it looks like the Giga's come to say hello. And indeed, that rock golem refusing to budge. Let's light up the Giga. See if we can't encourage him become a little bit more aggressive towards some of these other dinos but as I mentioned before the predators seem to have formed an alliance the wyverns have left probably to roost somewhere pleasant everyone else just chilling out the only enemy amongst all of these various creatures now is this rubble golem the little dude seems to have taken quick care of a titan boa and is now refocusing his attention on a griffin who I thought had died before but there he is perhaps that was an argy and a poison with an inner griffin. Just trying to take bites out of the, the rubber golem. Obviously they won't have much success. Oh, this thorny dragon got himself in a spot of bother with this Allosaurus and this Utai Rannus. Doubtlessly will lose this battle. There he goes. Mashed away. Mashed away. But the Utai Rannus and the Allo, no interest in each other. Alongside the Titanosaurus, who equally seems to have no enemies. These Titans happy to accept each other's dominance and not fight for the top spot. I've got to say, I'm not happy with that, so I think we will force tame a couple of these dudes and make them fight each other. There we go. There we go. Alright. Let's bring the fight on. Killing the Iranians. Level 400. Big guys. Big guys. Having chunks taken out of me now by the Mega Pigapigus. The giant monkey. The giant spider coming in. The Mantica also wants a piece of this. The secret is just chilling out behind us for now. Let's feed these guys some fire. See if that's not a more potent weapon. 
Oh, the, the, the Alpha Wyvern coming in for a big chunk as well. Looks like the Dragon might have met his match from all these floors here. But so far as I know, he is the strongest of them all, so I think we should be able to munch these guys down and take things, and take the battle for ourselves. But let's find out. This guy getting super low now, about halfway. Hasn't some his allies. Not sure why, you'd have thought he would have. But the dragon absolutely showing its dominance. If not running low on stamina of all things. So it could be that he's gonna faint. But let's find out. Just wander over here now. I wonder what happened if I just jump off this dude and let him do his own thing. What are you gonna do there, pal? Are you gonna are you gonna have a big fight with these bros? It certainly has stirred them all up. This radio has decided it wants a piece of me. Everyone else seems content with trying to beat up the dragon together. Those quills flying out from somewhere, I don't even know what that is. Big amount of web flying out. The dragon still standing. Everyone aggroed towards me now. The dragon not fighting back, disappointingly. Thought he would want a piece of, of this action. But I will jump on his back and try and do things manually again. See if we can't win this fight out. Kill a couple of these dudes just before he dies. He is about a quarter of his health down. But the giant monkey nearly dead. The health of the Manticore invisible. Obviously quite a potent enemy. Now the Alpha Fire with him getting lower and down. So as you'd expect he was able to beat him down. But as boss fights go, <laughs> this is a long one. <laughs> I can't imagine doing this on single player vanilla. Being these guys must present a huge challenge. I'll bet these are level 120. So obviously they've got ridiculously high boosted amounts of HP. The dragon quite easily able to take out the giant monkey actually without too much trouble. So once we've done this we'll go and see if we can fight some of these water creatures, stir up some trouble in the waters, throw up some mud, see what happens. And there you go. Hello! Wow, wasn't expecting that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the climax to that fight. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens when we pick on some of these water critters. Sealer ants have spawned in. They present no threat. These are the guys not even wanting to fight. Passive sea creatures. It's almost upsetting. Look at them. Feeble characters. Offering no challenge to the might of the dragon. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I mean, it looks like these uh, big whales are coming in for a, a test of the action. It must have a lot of HP because he's able to stand a lot of bites from a dragon. As I said, I think I will wrap it up there, guys. Let's fly off somewhere relatively peaceful. Just observe the carnage from afar, I think. There you go. And that was it, that was the big fight of the century, every single dino in the game. The Spino is still standing. Obviously a lot of these big predators just chilling themselves out. Got no quarrel with each other. So it's hard to know who the toughest is. Saying that, I can't see Mr. Giga, is he hiding in? He, he's chilling with the Titana. There's still a little fighting going on over here. Looks like some guys have escaped into a kind of separate section that I didn't know I'd built. Oh yeah, there you go. So there are a few more dudes just over this little wall. Still fighting it out. Oh, bless you all. Thank you for participating today, everyone. You were fighting honourably. Ooh, the dragon. Getting bloody now. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> in the midst of all the castroides, well damn. Thanks for tuning in guys, and uh, hopefully I'll see you for the next one. <laughs> Take it easy. Obviously guys, there is one thing stronger than all the dinosaurs, and it is me. Let's go destroy wild dinos. See you dudes.